Hey friends, I'm back again. You know the drill. It's time to practice. This is American English File, second edition, book two, workbook, part 3B. Let's meet again. Okay, let's cut to the chase. Grammar, present continuous, future arrangements. Future, right? Future. Do you remember? Very good. Now, I need you to complete the text with the present continuous form of the verbs in the parentheses. All right? So, let's do this one together as a warm-up. Hi, I'm Lisa, your guide. And I'm going to tell you about the arrangements for your trip to New York City. We're starting our trip in about five minutes, so please make yourselves comfortable. We're driving you straight to, to the city. We're, we aren't stopping for breakfast on the way. We're seeing the popular Broadway show Wicked today. When we arrive, we're dropping you off at 8th Avenue and 46th Street. We aren't taking or we're not taking you to 5th Avenue because the traffic is terrible. We're arriving at 11.30 so you have time for lunch or some shopping before the show begins. The bus driver's staying with the bus all day, so it's okay to leave your coats on the bus. We're picking you up near the theater after the show ends. We're leaving at 4.55 promptly, so don't be late. Now, any questions? Okay, very good. So this is about future arrangements, future plans. A good start, I might add, but let's continue. Okay. Next set in the house, circle the correct verb form. If both forms are possible, check the sentence, okay? And the next exercise, vocabulary, verbs plus prepositions. For example, complete the sentences with the correct prepositions. I completely agree with you, agree with. Now, I need you to stop the video and do it. Very good. Check your answers with your friends. Well done. Okay, let's do it together. Okay, number two. Do you have any plans for this weekend? Yes, I'm going to visit my grandparents on Sunday. Yes, I'm visiting my grandparents on Sunday. Both of them are correct. Very good. Number three. I'm going to Boston next week. Really? Do you think it's going to be cold? Very good. Yeah, you have to use be going to. Number three, my brother has a job interview in Tokyo. Oh, do you think he's going to get it, get the job? All right, very good. Number five, what time is the train? At 7.15, don't worry. We aren't going to miss it. Very good. Number six, we're going on vacation next month. Really? Where are you going to go? Or where are you going? Both of them are correct. Number seven, how do you get to work? I usually catch the bus, but tomorrow I'm going to drive because the buses are on strike. Or I'm driving because the buses are on strike. Both forms are correct. Okay, and the last one, your sister drives too fast. I know, I'm sure she's going to have an accident one day. Well done, so far so good. Now, number two, exercise two, we're arriving in Brazil at 6 a.m. For cities, for example, I'm arriving in San Francisco at 6 a.m., right? You use N. Number three, I'm worried about my flight because it's snowing. Number four, they're waiting for Anna. She's late. Number five, she spends a lot of money on, on clothes. Number six, I want to speak to my boss after lunch. Number seven, Sarah is arriving at the airport tonight. For locations, you use at, at the post office, at school, at the airport. Number eight, what do you think of the government's proposal? What do you think of, right? Well done, everyone. Impressive work. Okay, now, number the dialogue in correct order 
Number one, would you like to go away for the weekend? What's number two? It's on you. Do it. Now, I need you to listen and check. File 3B, pronunciation B. Would you like to go away for the weekend? I'd love to. Are you free this weekend? Sorry, no. I'm working on Saturday. What about next weekend? What are you doing then? Nothing. Next weekend is fine. Great. Do you like walking? I love it. Okay. Let's go to the mountains. The scenery is beautiful. Well done. You did very good. Okay, now we have a reading. Tour of the Magic Triangle, Prague, Vienna, Budapest. Okay, I need you to read the advertisement for a vacation. How many nights does the tour last? Okay, I'm going to wait for you. This is on you. A few moments later. Okay, you're back. So let's read it together. Visit these three beautiful capital cities and discover their historic monuments and lively atmosphere. Enjoy three wonderful cultural performances and return with unforgettable memories. Nice ad. Prague. The tour starts in Prague, capital of the Czech Republic. A free bus takes you from the airport to your hotel, where you spend three nights. The price includes a tour of the city, a cruise on the Voltava River, a visit to a spa resort, and a performance at the Laterna Magica Theatre. From Prague, you travel first class by train to your next destination, Vienna. Okay. Vienna. The Austrian capital has many spectacular monuments, which you can visit with the free 72-hour travel card that you can receive when you arrive in Vienna. The price also includes a tour of the city, Viennese coffee and cakes at the famous Hotel Sacha, and a performance at the opera. Uh, after your three nights in Vienna, you travel first class by train to your final destination, Budapest. Budapest. You spend your last three nights in Budapest, the capital city of Hungary, where there are plenty of places to explore. The city is divided into two parts, the old historic city of Buda on the hill and the commercial city of Pest on the other side of the Danube River. The price includes a tour of the city with a visit to the Hungarian Parliament building, a typical Hungarian dinner, a performance of classical music, and a return trip from your hotel to the airport. Okay, well done. So, how many nights does the tour last? Nine. Three days in Prague, three days in Vienna, and three days in Budapest. Well done. Now, I need you to read it again. Answer the questions with P for Prague. V for Vienna and B for Budapest. Okay? Again, I'm going to give you some time. A few minutes later. Okay, you're back again. Let's start answering. In which city do customers travel free on public transportation? Vienna. In which city do customers have a traditional evening meal? Budapest. In which city do the customers go on a boat trip? Prague. In which city do the customers listen to a concert? Budapest. In which city do customers have a drink and sweet snack? Vienna. In which city do the customers go to a place to relax? Prague. Because they go to a spa, right? Well done. Okay. Now I need you to underline five words that you don't know. Check them in your dictionary or Google Translate or ask your friend and write their meaning in english of course well done okay last set in the house and you can see my headphones right it means it's time to listen listen to two people chris and dawn talking about a vacation train trip it's a train trip which country is dawn visiting is she going to eat and sleep on the train Okay, everybody, so listen and answer the questions. File 3B, listening. 
Hi, Don. I hear you're going to be on vacation next week. Yes, I am, and I'm really looking forward to it. What are you going to do? I'm taking a train trip through Mexico with a friend. A train trip? I did that when I was a student. I traveled with very little money, not much food, and no sleep. It was fun, but I don't want to do it again. Ah, but you see, taking a train trip as an adult is very different. Really? In what way? Well, to start with, I'm going to travel first class, so it'll be much more comfortable. How long are you going for? I wanted to go for two weeks, but work's so busy right now. So just ten days. And which places are you visiting? Chihuahua, Creel, Divisadero, Cerro Cajul, and Los Mochis. We're starting in El Paso, Texas, in the U.S., and ending in Los Mochis, in Mexico. We're driving to Mazatlan at the end of the trip because we want to spend a few days at the beach. What about sleeping arrangements? Are you going to sleep on the train? No, there aren't any sleeping compartments on this particular train, so we're sleeping in hotels every night. We're having most of our meals in the dining car of the train, though. I'm looking forward to enjoying my meals as the Mexican countryside goes by. Well, it sounds like a different kind of trip than the one I went on as a student. Absolutely. It's going to be different. But I'm sure we're going to have a lot of fun. Okay, very good. Check your answers with your friends. So which country is Dawn visiting and is she going to eat and sleep on the train? Okay. Mexico. She's going to Mexico. And no, she isn't going to do that. Now, I need you to listen again and correct the sentences. For example, look, number one, Dawn is taking a vacation trip on her own. No, she's taking a vacation trip with a friend. Correct the sentences. Let's do it. File 3B. Listening. Hi, Dawn. I hear you're going to be on vacation next week. Yes, I am, and I'm really looking forward to it. What are you going to do? I'm taking a train trip through Mexico with a friend. A train trip? I did that when I was a student. I traveled with very little money, not much food, and no sleep. It was fun, but I don't want to do it again. Ah, but you see, taking a train trip as an adult is very different. Really? In what way? Well, to start with, I'm going to travel first class, so it'll be much more comfortable. How long are you going for? I wanted to go for two weeks, but work's so busy right now. So just ten days. And which places are you visiting? Chihuahua, Creel, Divisadero, Cerro Cajul, and Los Mochis. We're starting in El Paso, Texas, in the U.S., and ending in Los Mochis, in Mexico. We're driving to Mazatlan at the end of the trip because we want to spend a few days at the beach. What about sleeping arrangements? Are you going to sleep on the train? No, there aren't any sleeping compartments on this particular train, so we're sleeping in hotels every night. We're having most of our meals in the dining car of the train, though. I'm looking forward to enjoying my meals as the Mexican countryside goes by. Well, it sounds like a different kind of trip than the one I went on as a student. Absolutely. It's going to be different. But I'm sure we're going to have a lot of fun. Okay, let's hope so. Now, number two, Chris went on a train trip when he was a child. No, when he was a student. Number three, Don is going on the train trip for a month. No, for 10 days. Number four, Don's trip starts in Los Mochis. No, in El Paso. Number five, Don wants to go to stores in Mazatlan. No, Don wants to go to the beach. Now, these are some words that you can use. Travel arrangements, travel arrangements, conference, conference, news, news, fix, fix, perhaps, perhaps, still, still, 
both of us, both of us. I'd love to, I'd love to for ages, for ages, hard things, hard things. And that's the practice for today. Well done. Keep up the good work. You can do it. Better days are coming for you. It's just progress, progress, progress. See ya.